Now, in the previous video, we had looked at question 9, part B1, and where we complete the square to, to, and we had arrived at our answer. Now, in this video, I believe that I'm just going to work this, the same question. I'm going to answer it another way. So you could always choose which method you're more comfortable with. Okay, guys? So let's just clear this. Same question I'll be working, but I'm just going to be using a different method. Okay? Let me just clear this. Okay, they have asked us to, to write um, 4x, 4x squared plus, minus rather, 8x minus 2 in the form, in the form, uh, a open bracket, x plus h, close bracket, all squared, plus k. Okay, good. Now, by intuition, what this suggests is that let, let's expand let's expand this bracket so this would give me a and let me just use another open bracket there another square bracket so I'm saying open bracket since this is squared it simply means that this is multiplying itself okay so x plus h is really multiplying itself okay so I'm going to close my square brackets there and I'm adding a k to that okay let's see what we get out of this now here we would have an a there and let's open back our square brackets x this x let me say now this x this x times that x would give me an x squared and this x times that h would give me a plus x times h and now what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use this h multiplying this x there and I'm going to get a plus x times h now again another x times h and then I'm going to say this h is multiplying that h and that's gonna give me a plus h squared okay and I'm going to close my bracket and I have a plus k there alright now this can be easily simplified this is really a open bracket x squared since I have an x plus h there and an x plus h there I can say okay I have 2x h okay plus my h square plus my constant k so really um, let's just expand this bracket to see what we have here. Let's close this up. This should close up right there. Mm -hmm. So here now I, I'm saying a times a times x squared will give me an ax squared. Then I'm saying plus a times 2xh will give me a 2axh. I'm just multiplying, expanding this bracket. And then I'm going to have a plus plus a times a times h square a times h square okay plus k now I've done that okay guys just to show you something very interesting because really um, a quadratic when you complete the square in this form okay it's really equivalent to the general form of a quadratic a x squared plus b x plus c really what I did was to write this another way okay when you write it like that so by comparison now by comparison let's take our two um, let, let's just make some quick comparisons here originally they had given us 4 x squared minus 8 x minus 2 and what I'm gonna do here I'm just going to equate it to this down here because as you have seen when we have expanded this we have gotten that for our answer so I'm going to equate it to a x squared and let me use another color okay so that you can see it much clearer okay let me change my color quickly so I'm going to say a x squared plus 2 a x h plus a h squared plus k okay good now um if you notice i have an equation and equation means that two things are equal okay so i i could say then let's equate okay let's equate let, let me use an, another color let's just equate equate my x squared terms okay equate equate that's a q that should be a q sorry about that equating equating my terms terms in 
x squared okay so in equating my terms in x squared I'm I'm looking at these terms now on both sides of my equation let's equate these two terms so I'm saying really um, x squared hold I'm saying x squared is being multiplied by 4 here, here and x squared is being multiplied by a there so really my friends a is equal to 4 okay a would be equal to 4 okay so we have gotten the value of a so now let's equate equating equating terms in x now okay so we have looked at the x squared the x squared term so now let's look at the terms in x now if you notice my term in x okay and I'm going to let me just use this color the uh, what I have in front of my x here on this side is negative 8 and if you look carefully on my right side what I have in front of my x here well really if you notice this would be what I have here okay would be the same as would be the same as 2a h times x okay remember multiplication is commutative okay so my coefficient here of x really is 2a h okay is really that so I can say now negative 8 by comparison my negative 8 which is the coefficient of x here is equal to 2 times a h okay because this would be the coefficient of x so we we already found what 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 was the value of a so i can say negative 8 is equal to 2 times 4 times h because we we know the value of a there so 2 fours will give me 8 so i have a negative 8 is equal to 8 h okay let's divide through by 8 divide through by 8 so 8 into itself 8 will cancel out 8 into itself once 8 into negative 8 negative sorry negative 1 okay so we have a negative 1 there right here so my h therefore therefore my h is equal to negative 1 all right now we can go go, go ahead again and let's equate our constants now okay and if you notice that's just the trend we're taking down i'm going to equate my constants here now i have a negative two and my constant here would be all of this here around the back here okay that's my constant all right so let's just equate our constant let me just pull this up a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with so in working out our constant my friends okay we could now say then that since since negative 2 over here as we have stated in the red and a h square plus k would represent a constant that's a term that is behind there now so then therefore i could say then let's let's just do it right here i could say then that negative 2 must be equal to a h squared plus my constant k okay now we have found the values for a already so let's substitute a was 4 okay so I can say 4 open bracket we have found the value for h there h my h was negative 1 rather okay plus my constant k okay so let's find what is k now so I'm saying uh, negative 2 I can bring that down is equal to 4 times negative 1 will give me a negative will give me a negative uh, 4 okay and I'm well that is squared okay oops well since we since we had uh, the slipped up there let's just correct this this would be this would work out to be a positive 4 because um, a negative 1 squared will give us a a negative 1 squared will give us a positive 1 obviously okay and 4 times positive 1 would give us a positive 4 all right so let's just change this so I have a square term there so I have this is positive 1 so I really have 4 times 1 will which is 4 plus k so let's just move on quickly so I, I'm taking on my negative 2 so I have a positive 4 being added to k so when I take over this it will become a negative 4 and that's equal to k so therefore k is equal to 
uh, negative to minus 4. Remember, when the signs are the same, we add and keep our signs. So I have a negative 6. Now, if you remember in the previous video when we had solved, when we had solved uh, this question, our k was negative 6, our h was negative 1, was equal to negative 1, and our a was equal to 4. So now let's go back to the original question that they had asked. Okay, remember they had asked us here to write 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 in the form ax plus h all squared plus k. So let, let's make a quick note of that right here. Let's just make a quick note of that before we move. Okay, so we're going to be making some comparison. Therefore, our answer, since they, they asked us to write 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 in the form a open bracket x plus h close bracket all squared plus k then by comparison my friends then by comparison okay if you notice here now what we, based on what we have calculated based on what we have calculated then my a here that, that we have gotten up here would be equal to 4 Okay, so my A here would be equal to 4 open bracket X and I'm looking for the value of my H there which is minus 1 close bracket squared and I'm looking for the value of my 6. Okay, and my K rather is negative 6. So I have a minus 6 there. So that would be our answer. Okay, and you could always write down your values for A a is equal to 4. We had that already. We had calculated them already. So that's basically it, guys. It's that easy. Uh, field question if you're still not sure. Or, you know, you can come, always comment or rate the video. All right? Or even subscribe to the channel to get our latest updates. All right? Bye-bye.